Hey everyone, Clara Cookie Crumb Fun here, and today I'm going to show you how I make meatloaf in the slow cooker. I got inspired to do that from Jane Merle Stewart, and I'll have a link below to her YouTube video where she shows you how to do it. She puts all sorts of veggies and yummy stuff in it. I just went simple and um, just got some turkey and some sausage mixed together in there, and I cooked it while we're out, and it smells amazing. So watch this video and I'm going to show you how we did it. It's super easy and it's great for those summer days where you want meatloaf but you don't want to turn the oven on, right? So here you go. Let's get to it. Today what I'm going to do is put the ground turkey and this Sausage. It's roasted red pepper and caramelized onion sausage that I got marked down at Grocery Outlet. Put it right in the freezer when I got home, thawed it, and I'm going to put them together in this bowl with some spices here. And I'm going to make meatloaf in the slow cooker. Alright, so here is the mixture all mixed together. It's the three pounds of ground turkey and a pound of the um, what was that stuff called? The sausage with roasted red peppers and caramelized onions. And then I added all my spices. So now I'm gonna take this four pounds of meat and put it in the slow cooker. And then I'm gonna put the slow cooker on high. And I'm gonna cook it while I'm gone and it should be ready for dinner. It is 1245 and I'll show you what it looks like after I put it inside the slow cooker. All right, so here is the meatloaf inside the slow cooker. And what you need to do is you're gonna mash it up into the shape that you would um, a meatloaf. And you know, mush it all together, squeeze it together, push it in there, you know, so that it's all in there and loaf shaped. And I've done this before and it does hold its shape. Um, you can use whatever recipe for meatloaf that you want to. I am making a Trim Healthy Mama meatloaf. So this is going to be a, um, a THMS dinner for us tonight and since I'm going off to the grocery store this afternoon and plus it's hot in California I didn't feel like turning on the oven so if this summer you want meatloaf for dinner and you don't want to heat up your oven for an hour or whatever cooking it then you just put it in your slow cooker. Now uh, Jamerl Stewart has a video on this. She's the one I got the idea from. So um, I'll make sure there's a link below to her video so that you can go check out the way she makes it. But this is just what I did, and I'm using my smaller slow cooker. I might have, probably next time if I use this much meat, I should put it in my bigger one. And um, But we'll just see how this goes, and it should work out perfect. I got mashed potatoes for the kids. And um, I don't know, I'll probably have a salad for me next to it and spread in a mug. Why are you smiling? You happy? Yeah. Okay. So that's the meatloaf. It's super simple. I will show it to you when it's done, when I get home later, when we have dinner, so that you can see what it looks like and how it holds together. Now I am using ground turkey, but this is a better of the ground turkeys that I've purchased. So this is not as watery as some of the other ground turkeys that I've used. So it probably won't have as much moisture in there, which is good, but it's still going to have some. But um, adding that sausage to it, this is a new thing I've never done before, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how it's going to taste with the sausage in it. All right, so it is 5.30. I turned off my slow cooker a few minutes ago. I opened this up and it smells amazing. See all that steam coming out? There you have it, all cooked and yummy. There's a lot more water in there than I thought there would be, but I'm okay with it. I'm gonna take it out and put it on a platter and or a plate or something and just let it rest while I make the children's their mashed potatoes and cook up some vegetables to go along with it. But as you can see, it turned out. It smells so good. This is when I wish smell vision worked because you'd be going, oh, Claire, that smells really good because it does. So I'm gonna get to it. Before I continue on in making this dinner, I wanted to share a little tidbit of trivia with you. See this? This is a stick of butter. Does your butter look like this where you live? It's a short, fat cube of butter. It is eight tablespoons. It is 
a half a cup, but it's not long and skinny, right? Like these ones. Did you know? I'm gonna hold them next to each other. All right, I took some off of it, so see, but the paper, that's how long it is, and it's not as fat either. Did you know that there's East Coast butter and West Coast butter? Yes, there is. So, comment below whether you have West Coast butter or East Coast butter. I don't know how the East Coast butter snuck into California, but it did. Just thought you know, Google it, it's true, it's a real thing. Well, if you're curious what it looks like when it comes out, this is what it looks like. You can tell the part that was cooked underneath the liquid and the part above the liquid, you know. But, um, like I said, I used turkey, uh, ground turkey. So it is going to look a little different from uh, ground beef. So it looks, and I just can't get over the smell. This smells so good. I'm so glad I put the sausage in with this. The first time I've ever put sausage in my meatloaf, and I'm so glad. There's the juices all dripping. And this is my Norwex cutting board. I grabbed it thinking it's going to drip. And yep, look at that. If I use my other one, which is flat, it would be all over my counter. All right, so this is, is it holds together pretty good. This is my son's plate. And uh, pretty good. There are some pieces that fell apart. My daughter got one. And, I just grabbed all the clumps of it and we put some uh, turkey gravy on top of it. Yes, it's canned turkey gravy, not on plan, but I just did it anyway. It's not going to kill me and it won't kill you either. So give yourself some grace and enjoy the gravy. Hi guys. So here's dinner. The other kids are still getting their food. What do you got on your plate? Soda. Oh yep, that's a soda you bought with your money. I don't buy their soda, they buy it with their money. Alright, so does it taste good? Anybody try it yet? Is it good? Good. Yes, I gave you a big plate because Daddy's at work. Alright, I'm gonna taste some right here. Mm, tastes good. Mmm, sausage is good in it. Wow, your plate's empty almost. Mm. Well, that's really good with the sausage in it. Wow. Alright, so thanks for watching. Be a blessing.